<laughs> Howdy! I know you saw what happened today, huh? Listen, folks, at this point, it's no surprise that any PlayStation first party game is being announced for PC. That's not a surprise at all at this point. But what's happening is that gap that is taking for, for PlayStation 5 games to go to PC, that gap is shortening, y'all. It's getting shorter and shorter and it's getting closer to PlayStation first party games, all PlayStation first party games, including their single player games, is going day and day to PC. Now, it's not there yet, but it's getting closer. Spider-Man 2 released October of 2023. Now, Spider-Man 2 going to PC has been confirmed to be coming January 30th, 2025. Listen, I'm not a mathematician, but basic math says that's 13 months 13 months and in the past we've seen playstation executives say we're going to stick with our two to three to four year strategy of putting our games on pc listen i understand things change over the years yes things change even with xbox we know things have changed once the abk abk acquisition became final yes i understand that but it's funny how some of these guys are still sitting up here trying to deny that it's happening. But before we get to some of these PlayStation fanboy receipts, just look at PlayStation's history with putting their games on PC. In 2020, they announced Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, the game came out in 2017, so it took three years for Horizon Zero Dawn to go to PC. 2021 predator hunting grounds who cares about predator days gone that was a game that released in 2019 so, so it took it took that game two years to come to pc then we have god of war death stranding spider-man remaster uncharted collection sack boy spider-man miles morales and at that time those games were you know taking like two to three years to get to pc 2023 returnal the last of us part one ration and clank same same strategy two to three years then we have hell divers that dropped day one because it's the games as a service then we have horizon forbidden west that dropped um that game came out in 2021 so there you go that's a three-year gap for horizon forbidden west then of course the few games that's missing from this list is god of war ragnarok which came out in 2022 dropped in 2024 and of course the recently announced spider-man 2. so Listen, like I said before, things change. PlayStation strategy has changed. And I'm going to repeat myself. If you listen to my content, I say this all the damn time. Guys out there bragging about PlayStation's console sales. Guys out there bragging about how much PlayStation is dominating Xbox when it comes to console sales. And I always tell people, if everything was gravy if everything was amazing for playstation why would they be changing their strategy why did they pivot to games as a service why is square enix saying you know what damn this we're going multi-platform why are they putting their games on pc come on guys pay attention <laughs> pay attention <laughs> everything is not all amazing and, and flawless on playstation side listen they're trying to increase their revenue they're trying to increase their, their 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 money their business that's what they're supposed to do so you stupid ass playstation fanboys stop being surprised every time they announce another game for pc and just realize eventually these games are going to go day and date because that gap is getting shorter and shorter but like i said earlier things change in the past you know playstation bosses they said it would take two to three years to put their PlayStation first party games on PC. But remember when Hiroki Totoki, he got um, the, the, the job, he got promoted at PlayStation or whatever. However, he got that job. He said, our, our games are going to go to PC earlier. So he told you guys ahead of time. And here we are. It went from two to three years to at this point, 13 months. 
I think Nixus is just catching up. Eventually, we will see their single party, I'm mean, sorry, their, their single player games on PC day and day because of course, their live service games is already on PC day and day. But this is how it is, man. Things change. They said PlayStation never put their games on PC. I just stupid fuck. Look at you now. Things obviously have changed. So, the video game industry has evolved. Things that used to work back in the early 2000s or even the 2010s, those things don't work anymore. So this is what PlayStation have to do. I'm pretty sure PlayStation don't want to put their shit on PC, but to survive as a business, this is what they have to do. And some PlayStation fanboys still can't accept this shit. They're in denial. <laughs> this guy Rohit says, what? So early on PC? Yes. It is on PC much earlier than their past games. Then good old J-Dub, he says, it's been a year. I know that ain't who I think it is. He's trying to tell this guy, look, man, it's only been a year. Stop crying. It's only been a year. Uh, then this guy, John, John Perone, says, usually it's two years. Then J-Dub with his delusion said, no, it's not. You're lying. Now, about a couple minutes ago, I broke down how it took PlayStation first party games usually two to three years to drop on PC. This one is 13 months. So, J Dub, you are completely wrong on this one. Open your eyes. Stop being in denial. Damn it, man. Just admit what it is. Just admit what it is. Stop going out there tweeting so damn much, talking so much shit, and constantly be wrong. Just stop it, man. Stop it. PlayStation Game Side says, no DLC, just PC port? Rare, rare L, Insomniac. Shut your goofy ass up. Why is that an L? What is wrong with these ponies? You know, with these entitled dumbass dummies. PlayStation is doing what's best for business. This is not an L. Hell, this is the W, if you want to be honest. They're going to get more money, more revenue from Spider-Man 2 being on PS. Um, I'm sorry, being on PC. This isn't an L, you entitled assholes. Those days are over of console-only exclusives. If you see one now, it's going to be rare. I'm telling you guys. All you have to do is pay attention to the industry. Pay attention to what's going on. Why are you guys so damn mad? PlayStation is doing what they have to do. Yes, I know you're not happy, but stop crying, bitch. Uh, this dude, I can't even pronounce his damn name. He says, PS5 owners are now treated like African. You know what? I'm not going to even read this bullshit. You guys can see it on screen. I'm not going to even read this. This guy has a history of saying stupid, racist shit like this. What is wrong with these people, man? The damn game is going to PC. This is not the first PlayStation exclusive going to PC, and it's definitely not the last. What kind of analogy is this? This is rock. I can't get jiggy with this shit. These dudes have serious issues, man. Serious issues. PlayStation has put so many of their games on PC. PlayStation executives have told you guys, yes, we're putting more of our games on PC. All of them, to be honest. It's just that that gap is getting shorter and shorter and is getting closer to their games, all of their games, going to PC day one. It's okay. Y'all still can play this shit on PlayStation 5. Y'all still can play it on your PS5 Pro. Get over it, man. Damn, life goes on. And this one guy, you know, like the guy that I read said, no DLC, just a PS port, said Rare L. Okay, if it's true, well, it is true, because they said it, it's something that said they're not doing DLC for Spider-Man 2. Okay, they're not doing DLC. Move on, man. Those Insomniac leaks really hurt them? 
the leaks showing their whole roadmap really hurt them. So maybe that's why they're not giving you dickheads the DLC. Okay, get over it. Oh man, you know, these guys, these guys are pieces of shit, man. I really can't stand them. But look, man, I'm gonna say this before I get out of here. PlayStation guys, every time PlayStation announces another one of their games going to PC, I need you guys to calm your asses down. I am doing this video because of the reactions. I'm doing this video because of it's getting closer and closer to their games being day one on PC. Now listen, I have many receipts Many receipts of PlayStation guys saying their games would never go to PC day one. <laughs> Trust me, when it happens, I will be putting those receipts out. I will do a nice video making fun of all of these dick faces. But look, as of right now, I gotta get out of here. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel, you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>